<laughs> because I am. Oh, no, you still got a few more years to be a child. Don't rush it. Right? <laughs> I didn't rush it. It was the adults around me who rushed me. That's why I organized this dinner, actually, because I'm just tired of everyone's newfound obsession with me. Nobody even paid attention to me until Meech and Terry moved out. I think you're exaggerating a bit, Nicole. You mean like when you make assumptions about me and Breeze? Or when you think that me wearing tampons is going to make me into a whore, but Meech and Terry have been having babies since before they could legally drink. Meech has two babies by two different women, and Terry has been messing around with some old Jezebel while Wanda was pregnant. Hey, listen, we're being hard on you because we're trying to protect you. From what? Both of my brothers are drug dealers. And my first boyfriend got stabbed to death in front of me. And y'all are getting a divorce because Pops cheated with Miss Mabel. So hey, that, that's that's enough. stop it, Nicole. I seem to be the only one in this family who ever really tells the truth. Pops, you know Mama been making goo goo eyes at some doctor at the church's mobile clinic? How dare you? Go to your room, Nicole. Happily. Hey, dog, let me tell you something. I, I had to play that clip because we did talk about that last week. But this last episode, episode five, dog, I swear to God, I thought this was episode 10, the way that episode went. Like, where do you go after episode five, dog? Like, let's keep it a buck. Episode five was so dark. Like, bro, where do you go next? Like, just think about how crazy, how many people died in episode five, how wild they died. Like, where do you go after that? Like, we could just pick a spot, pick any person, any character, wherever you want to start. Though, how do you go back for you got five more episodes, dog, and you got renewed for another season? How do this shit keep going? Just think about it. Listen, who, what's the what's the let's go to the what's the easiest person, dog? Let's go for the let's go for the Asian uh, police officer lady, dog. Her new partner just got smoked in her house because her old partner came to her house. He was trying to come and get help, and he literally bought the goddamn gang members who follow him to her crib, shot her crib up, and smoked her brand new partner. But that was her fault, though. Who fault? It was the Asian girl fault. Though. How was it her fault? They was in there doing karaoke. He came and knocked on the but door. But she wasn't honest about what happened. Huh? How, Marcus? What you mean she was? What do you mean that's when they? Her? That's yes, that's when she told her. But they got in the shootout when they followed the ambulance. When they got the when they when they got when they got but the how but how do but how would her being honest would have stopped any made that any different though I don't get that part what you mean if they would have went at him after him from the beginning I mean when she when she said she knew who shot at or whatever whatever happened if she would have told her from the beginning that's why she told her don't keep no more secrets from me had she would have told her that oh that was Brian and X Y and Z yeah I don't think that would have changed because even okay even if they even if she would have told him from the get like I don't even remember what was the opportunity for her to honestly tell her earlier they would would have changed it. Like that wouldn't have changed him coming in. Like she was, she literally just told her. But I she think they know. probably would have went, went after him because who bailed him out? I didn't. She bailed him out. Oh, who? I don't. I'm, I'm trying to figure out who who got him out of jail. Uh, it might it might have been her, or it might have been um, the dude. No, nah, the Dyke girl. It might have been. I don't know. The I can't. I, okay, yeah, 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 yeah I, I can't remember. That's who picked him up. The Dyke girl did what? I mean, the, the dude. oh, you, you you absolutely right. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Yep, that's who did it. Yeah. So that yeah, she she bailed him out. Cause that was that was who was about to sit here. Yeah, when they picked him up, they was about to kill him. Yeah, so man, I'm not no. That episode was crazy though. Like literally, I guess why we are on Brown. Let's get to him. I don't but, know how he can live. He, oh man. I, but you know the crazy thing is like when his son was for people who don't know, I, Brian's son. I guess spoiler alert. Brian's son. I guess ended up uh, taking his own life while he was in jail. But to I guess to the, the, to tie in the story. So obviously the, the girl didn't like how I guess Bryant was moving. So she bailed him out. Of course, he got locked up when he was chasing Meech and them, whatever case may be on the last episode. So he got locked out. She bailed him out. She had two dudes pick him up. And the two dudes, when they was picking him up, of course, Bryant, he, he won, he's street smart, and he's been a police officer for mad long. But he's supposed, so, he's supposed to set him up. Supposed right? to set, he was supposed to set up who? Me. He, oh, he was supposed to, no, he was, I think he was supposed to set Get up a drop uh, or something. He's supposed to because remember she oh, said yeah, yeah, I need yeah, to drop yeah yeah so so yeah so that. that's so that was the reason why they was following him so whatever he's end up spending him and getting away or getting out of there so anyway like I said he had she had some dudes pick him up from the jail they bailed him out picked him up and they was trying to and they was supposed to kill him so he he kind of I'm basically read the room he felt the energy was kind of different in the car so at the whole time he ended up putting a little light in the junk starting to get the junk hat so he could burn him that's one of them old school junks like back in the day you had to literally you wanted to light a cigarette in the car you had to use the little lighter it's so crazy how times have changed but if you old enough to actually experience those things you just remember those lighters and it just be like 
damn times have changed. They don't got none of that shit in the car no more. But anyway, so he used that and, you know, as he got out of the car, he escaped from them. But then, of course, like I said, they obviously was following him, tracked him down and and shot up the and shot up the uh, the, the Asian lady house when he went there to go visit her. Because he was like, man, I need some help, whatever the case may be. She ended up don't having karaoke with her partner. Boom, boom, boom. She her partner ended up getting hit. And the girl, the, the that girl ended up shooting the joint up with, like, with a Uzi. So them bullets, like, you know, them jumps hit differently. They tore that house up. So it was just like, yeah. And she took the so then she so then she basically took the so, protection off. So she she took the protection off of Brian. So Brian so while he in, and the crazy thing is like literally after that house get shot up, he get a page and he knows like a crazy joke. So he just lead a girl like he literally the girl on the floor dying, the Asian lady losing her mind like oh my god. So she got called nine one one. Brian like sorry I gotta leave I gotta leave. He leave, go visit his son in the, in the, the juvenile at the jail and his son come out like you know what I'm saying like with a black eye face all lips all busted up whatever case may be so he asked his son like what's going on what's wrong why you look like what happened so he had the son telling him like yeah you know the dudes who were supposed to be helping me whatever the case may be attacking me they changed them and they beat me up whatever the case may be and then last night dad and he goes i'm talking about they go super quiet like he t- he he giving the details but he like taking his time and you could just see Brian's face like just damn it. Like he just, he dying right there. Like listening to his son basically explain to him getting raped in jail. He like, dad, they, they tied me down. They held me to the ground. This, that, and the third. I'm like, oh my God. I'm listening to him say this. Like, I'm like, dog, there's no way in hell I would want to be that. I could never want to switch. It's nothing. And it's your fault that he's in there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, I guess. Because his son took the gun. It ain't like he. Like you can't, I mean, you can blame it on him because you had the gun in the house, but it's like, I and mean, he a police officer. Like, yeah, you can't, but, he I told, can't, but but then he was something about protecting himself or something. What was it? He hell said, no, he no. Didn't, didn't he, he say he? It was something. It was something that he said to him before. I thought when they was taking his the his comics into something. Didn't he say like you gotta protect yourself? I thought yeah, it but it wasn't. Did. But he ain't telling nigga to go shoot him, man. Nah, like, no, he, he didn't tell him to go shoot him because, like I said, he didn't think that. But it just he got to that point. Yeah, I mean, it got to that point where the little boy just had his breaking point and then just and just lashed out. But you can't say and say that because you got to think about Brian had beat Mick beat up the dude. So I don't like. I can't. I, I can't put that. I can't put that one on. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm, it's it's because of him. I mean, you. I mean, you can't. I mean, I I can't. I can't tell you not to. But I just. I don't think I can't put all of that blame on him. It's just crazy. I just wouldn't want to be him. That's all I'm saying. Like, don't. What's it's no coming back from that. And you can't. You know, you like kind of most things you can try to blame on Terry and Meech and them. You can't blame that on. Like you said, I'm sure as a father, he's gonna take a lot of that blame on himself anyway. Like, of course, I'm sure he gonna. Isn't he ain't gonna place that blame on. I mean, don't get it twisted. He going because because his son told him that story. I'm 100 percent positive he gonna take that wrath out on that girl. Yeah, no, hold up. It is his fault because he that's the gun that um that's why they had him locked up because that's the gun that killed. Um, oh, yeah, that I forgot. Took, yeah, that he he took from um which name in them? That's what it was. Yeah, I knew it was. Yeah. I knew it was his. It was his fault because he took that gun. He had that gun hidden. Remember when his name tried to break in the house to get the gun? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, so it, it is his fault. I just yeah, that, I just thought about it because that's when they said they they had a body attached to it. Yeah, to the gun, yeah. Yeah, and he hid that gun in his house. Yeah, but he still that the little boy still killed somebody too though. Yeah, he killed somebody. He he killed somebody. So it's too yeah, yeah, but it was already was still up. another body on that gun for sure. Yeah, damn. That's a tough one though. Because his what's name was all for self defense. Yeah, but the other body. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Now that you remember, you remind me. You're absolutely right. Yeah, that's tough, dog. Ah, shit. I do want to kind of see like how he going. Nigga, he, you got to crash. This your son. You got to crash out behind your son. But who do you crash out on? Nigga, on the, the girl. girl. What you mean? But obviously, she got some type of power. Nigga, I don't. I don't give a fuck about your power now. I don't have nothing to lose. That's my son. What else I got? He ain't married to nobody. I'm this, but all, this but balls to the saying, wall. But do you think he can? He can touch her. That's what I'm saying. Like if you, if she had the protection or she had the. The authority to do all this do you think like she's touchable yeah she's touchable because you got she's touchable to the fact that look how terry played with her like terry do you have to think terry ain't think twice about one when he was supposed to buy some work from her he says man yeah, it is what it is and went and told her in her face like think about terry, think about but the see, old- but i feel like but, but brian is a cop i mean you know he's still known as a cop so i just for you to see him like i'm about to just walk up on her yeah, and, no, and no. Just, I, I guess to me, I guess realistically, Terry. I mean, if I'm Brian, you have to. You one, you have to make good with Terry. You probably got to tell Terry the story, boom, 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 the case may be, and then kind of kiss BMF ass and, and get back and good with them. And then you want no, that girl got to go. I don't, it ain't no other way around. And then it's kind of just like even if I'm tying it into how the episode was ending when when Terry was leaving Meach in Atlanta and he was saying like, now nah, I know I got to go home and beef with this girl by myself. 
I guess her name is Henry. So he's like, I'm gonna have to, you know, I got my own little beef. I'm gonna have to go here and get to settle. That one was crazy, dog. <laughs> that Brian storyline is OD, dog. I'm not even gonna is, hold you. Is like Brian that. worse than um Sax? Yeah, what you mean? What, who, what, what? I mean, it's like the police, like how how you got so tied into shit and you was doing all this crooked shit. Yeah, yeah, Brian's, you... Brian's was different because I feel like Brian wasn't, like Sax was just kind of like, he was just doing, he took his job too serious. But Brian was kind of like, man, your, your son was like, that shit was messed up. I ain't going to hold you. I felt for him with the son situation because it's like, he, his son's so young, he's so innocent, he really ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So, is, he, is he a important character? throughout the whole brand i don't know i don't i don't i don't know because i never watch i never watch any interviews about like none of the police officers so oh. i don't necessarily know I don't, I don't i don't know that one so that storyline to me is kind of like it's open and you don't know and realistically i don't necessarily like i think some of them storylines they just add and stuff like that two chains like that whole little play i've listened to enough bmf stories i have never it never they never at least with the way they painted them stories it never was supposed to be this violent so i feel like when a lot of this violence come in i feel like a lot of this is just made for tv so I don't necessarily know how many of those is important. Cause like I said, I didn't watch enough of their interviews. Now they never even had like no, they never mentioned no significant crew that they was going back and forth against. Like this thing, like they always got animosity and beef, like with this team or that, like it, it, I, all the jokes that I've heard, I never heard any of them describe having like, to me, the only, like out of all the BMF stories I ever heard, the only one that ever came up like, the main story that kind of stuck out like a thumb that had something to do with violence was when they killed um puffy security guard mm. the dude uh wolf so that that's the only time i ever heard of any real violence from their whole entire run so yeah. it's so a maybe little that's why meech always swinging on people instead of like pulling guns uh, I mean, and I think it was the time frame too, though. You just think about how, like, back in the day, like, that was a more, like, back in the day, people used to fight a lot. And Meech is probably just a little bit old, dear. Like, it's like every episode, this, this nigga, nigga popping off somebody. on somebody. Yeah. Like, I, like, I don't, oh, yeah. He don't pull a gun out no, on no, he, he just don't. I know every episode, every episode, he definitely popping off on somebody. But of course, like, this, you got to think about this is supposed to be in the early 90s. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, people actually used to fight in the early 90s. So it's just so crazy. And again, that's when we talk about how our minds are so desensitized and stuff, because we look at it, like, from the 2000s point of view now, and it's kind of like, it's so rare that you even see somebody actually fighting somebody now. Like, damn, that's crazy. Like, it just seems so weird. Like, all right, but back in the day, think about how many go-go's like certain dudes was known for every go-go they get into a fight. Like it just, and that's, you got them, but that's still early 2000s, but the early 2000s, of course, is closer to the 90s. So that behavior is just more. Guns wasn't so accessible. Yeah, it, it just, yeah, guns wasn't as accessible and people wasn't using them as much. Like people probably really value not going to jail way more. So you rather like, hey, that favorite line from Friday, you live, you know what I'm saying? You get in the fight, you live to see another day or whatever the case may be, whatever pop said on Friday. But again, going back into other storylines on on um episode five of BMF was two chains episode. I'm not gonna lie. He probably was added, he was probably the his character getting smoked was probably one of the only uh bright lights of that episode. I was kind of happy, like though I knew they was when he got the yeah, 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 they don't come back this and I knew that dude was gonna smoke him. I knew it. I was like, I'm so fucking confused. What you mean? Like on all the so people what, that were in the shootout? Yeah, like I didn't know who was who or what was what. So they was in Two Chains neighborhood? No, no, no. They was in the dude that with the Jamaican dude who um the little boy got uh killed in front of. That was his neighborhood. So he was trying to So basically with two but so they, basically they was trying to group together to set two chains up, right? No, well, no, 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 so, uh, so, no, 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 so, no, so, no, so, uh, originally how it was supposed to play out was basically when, I uh, remember when, when Meech and them was out front of the club and they was talking to the boxer dude, mm -hmm. 2 chains set them up. Mm -hmm. He he said he set them up so he basically had that that Miami dude or that I guess Miami Haitian dude shoot up whatever the dude from Detroit they got killed in front of the strip club so then two chains try to sit here and be like all right cool now you that happened so he basically trying to make it seem like he was helping each of them get revenge on he was trying to make it seem like it was the it was the dudes who um who neighborhood it was like what's the name of that neighborhood Techwood so he was trying to make it seem like it was a Techwood dude so whole time realistically. It wasn't. It was the same dude who ended up killing Two Chains at the end. It was him who basically set up the whole thing. So when Two Chains was trying to set up that play, he was trying to sit here and set Meech up to go to Techwood to get re retaliation for the dude that he had killed in front of the strip club. Mm -hmm. But that same time, it was basically when he was going to have them ambush that neighborhood, he was going to set them up. 
he was, he was basically gonna set the dude. He was basically gonna set Meech and them up. So when you go in there to ambush that that dude from Techwood, he was gonna still the same thing that happened. Basically, was gonna happen. But they was just, but, but Meech was trying to Meech get ahead of it okay. and try to sit here and basically squash the beef with the dude, so he could end up setting two chains up. So realistically, I mean, everything kind of happened the same way, but it just didn't. It happened with more casualties. So it was like two chains still end up getting killed, but it wasn't off the like they lost a lot of people. Like that little boy got killed right on that shit. Man, that's why I'm like, dog, what the hell? Who wrote episode five? Like, nigga, god damn, what type of demon is you? But I guess I mean realistically. But that goes back to when they had that whole little out meeting out there when he was giving them the uh the freaking um brown paper bags. How we thought like we thought he had them selling drugs. So just imagine like being in that project, like I'm pretty sure he had that pop not saying mind control, but he was looked at as Yeah, for sure. Know, because I mean even even the way how the little boy ran in and he was just like like he thought he was like it was it seemed like one of them kids like did you see and like overseas and they was ready to go to war for their country or their religion it was like one of those moments so you're absolutely right that is how people looked at him and that's how when that little boy ran in it that nigga had like a damn i don't even know what was that like an ak or a draco that gun was bigger than that little boy and he was just geeked up like yeah let's go kill somebody and the dude just like i'm like jesus Christ, he kill him and he celebrate like yeah we take no prisons nobody and it's just like damn dog and even just like you know what's so crazy is just like even when the dude that was with Meech and he was like making the beats and stuff and he's had it in his song and he was just like man whatever happened to me and it was just like dog what the hell yeah that was fucked up but did he why was he out there then because niggas was just trying to be like make it seem like they was down like hey we standing up for Meech we ride with Meech and it was but just I like thought Meech was just had to talk with you like nah you needed to focus on his music six so why did he but he just like he let him come he shouldn't have like that shit was fun even though that song was ass but yeah that song, <laughs> that song was ass and shit so it's just like all right whatever i'm thinking this about to be a hit like oh i remember yeah, this nah, that song. shit was ass like hell no that song was ass as hell yeah so then he ended up getting smoked so two chains got killed that little strip club scene was kind of corny i ain't gonna hold you i was cool on that one like, it was cool, but it was like I thought she got like rented out a whole never strip club. I didn't know it was a strip club she worked at. I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah, dog, that shit looked like what? Like you rented it out just to fuck in there? Like Yeah, that shit was weird. <laughs> ain't cool and that too. dance was just like what the hell? You know what's so crazy? What I was thinking about no clothes off like I, you a stripper, but you up here doing like. What but the you know what I was doing? thinking? I was like, I mean, I was trying to think back to like when I was just like when my early two thousand days when I really used to play the strip club heavy. I was like, no. Oh, was people even really had dance moves like the way she was doing her shit look like no like that look like some sierra uh yeah fucking, like um, it was choreographed yeah like that's what i'm just like damn yeah. like you didn't even do no shit like the blow my mind like yeah like not no crazy fucking, pole tricks or nothing yeah, like was mercedes some, on, yeah. on yeah. you was doing some shit that you got out of fucking you know my goodie video yeah that shit wasn't it wasn't hitting on nothing but like i said that what else you want to talk about moms and pops oh yeah we got to talk about moms and pops Mom, did I, have, I thought i had that i might have had, i did have that clip because i want to say i used it it's fucked up society man man you just got a bit you got you one you got to watch the friends that you had because that lady not even watch the friends that you had but it's just a super holding that now, now you you gotta think about like hey pack your shit lucille we gotta get you out of here and still what is going on no way Charles should move out. Where's his room? I'll pack his shit for you. Estelle, Estelle, calm down and tell me what is wrong. Yesterday, I saw Charles having breakfast with another woman. They were holding hands. The last thing I want to do is open up old scars and upset you. But you deserve to know. Once cheater, always cheater. I should have known better. Now you can divorce his ass and go get in with a good doctor with a clear conscience. Where's this shit? For you. Was she was the one before they told? I don't know. The crazy. I, I don't. I don't know. And the thing I thought I was like, damn, is this the woman he cheated with? I couldn't remember all the top of my head. But again, when I say watch the friends that you have, though, watch the people who feed you information because she jumped the gun the whole time. I'm not gonna lie. Charles is one smooth operator. Because even screwed. Wait, one. Thank God that she did. As soon as he walked in the door, she ain't turning to King Griffey Jr. and get to swinging that baseball bat. And she actually allowed him to, you know, be to talk it out. But it was just fire. Even the the concept that he even was coming up with, even while he was actually meeting up with that lady to get. Yeah. A song made the way that lady was looking at him um, she was was she really trying to do it just to be off of the nights like i feel like she wanted him the way she said 
What? The way she sat down and talked to him, she's like, oh my God, this is so sweet. She should let, though, you know them church women, like how they. Yeah, but I don't, I don't necessarily, I think it was a fire idea, nigga, when he explained it, it was tight. It, it, no, it was a fire idea, but I'm just saying, but for her to sit down with him, was it like a, just a conversation? Because he, like she said, he ain't been in the church, right? What you mean? He in the church? We talking about? No, he, he met still, the other lady. No, he no, saying, he still, I thought after they, 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 he got in trouble. I thought he stopped going. I mean, I don't know. They haven't had no, haven't had no episodes in confused. the church. So I don't no, because that's why I was confused when the lady was uh, talking to her about um, joining her church or whatever. That's why. That's why. I no, the it. lady was talking about the church that she go to. That's the church that they oh, go that was to. Yeah, okay, that's the church right. that they already go to. Oh, okay, I thought, I thought, I thought it was a whole different church. No, 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 no. That's the church that they already go to as a family. Yeah. So I don't. Man, he he was just lucky. I ain't gonna lie to you. He he, was, that nigga was lucky. But I guess that to me, and it was so funny because when I was watching it, I tweeted this out, and people started to retweet the joke. I was thinking the same thing, bro. Lucille, if people don't know who Lucille is, that's Meech Mom, bro. She is the most horniest, freaked out lady on planet Earth. Bro. I have not, and listen to what I'm telling you. This is coming from a horny person, though. I'm a horny nigga, but that would be like I couldn't even steal right now to the day, though. And I fought, and you, and all of us could go on the explore page. You can look for whatever you're looking for. I'm not even horny enough to be able to beat off to an Instagram picture, bro. She was about to beat. She was about to masturbate, finger herself to a business card, dog. Do you know how horny and how vicious your imagination got to be to be able to read somebody's name to be able to get yourself wet to read their name? A business card, dog. A black and white business card. This don't even got this man's face on it. Like, that would be, to me, is almost the equivalent of, like, when we used to pass out flies back in the day, and it was, like, strip club flies, and niggas would save it. And I'm sure people have done it, but it's at least still a picture on there to beat off, too. No, there's no picture. This is a black and white business card, bro. And she literally stopped about to play with herself until Charles walked in. He got some he got some sympathy coochie. Because she was just really ready to sit here and, 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 and play with herself to a business card. So she just no, gave Charles just get some... Finished? Yes, but she was still... And that's my point. So just think about how... Like, that's... Man, again... And that's one of them. If you want to have them moments on white, how sneaky and devilish women really is. So she, you right. They literally just finished having sex, and he, and she literally was still horny thinking about the doctor. That's crazy, dog. This man literally just made a song for you, and you still worrying about the damn doctor. Like, come on, dog. Oh my god. Like, what are we talking about? Like, this is a this is an evil world we live in. She wow. She wow. Episode five, dog. I, I don't like. I said I, I don't got no more conversation for off of that one. Episode five was crazy, though. I swear to God, if you watch when you watch episode five, if y'all haven't already seen it. Episode five felt like that shit was supposed to be episode but, ten. Because I want to know how do you where do you go back from? But after my that? only thing with her is just like even like the last episode, like you wanted to give it up to him, like when you saw him working out and all that, like you planned the whole hard to get. I'm still mad at you. I'm frustrated. But then this is like at the end of the day, either you gonna leave him or not. And even uh, he said, oh, well, you know, it's hard for me. All right, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Bye. Because like you said, he already ain't fixing up shit. He ain't doing what he's supposed to yeah, do. Yeah, but so I mean, I don't think neither one of them in the place where you could kick either one of them out because realistically ain't even one of y'all paying the bills in there. But that's that's what I'm saying. So why do I even need you here? If, if me nigga, take- why, So why am I going? I'm not leaving. You ain't None of the kids ain't taking sides. They want y'all to work it out. Like, what do you mean? I'm not no, leaving because no, you mad. But, but, you but, you but I'm saying with her, like, I just I just felt like she was like, when you looked at him, like, are you still, like, you're not that mad at him. You still want to be with him for real, for real. So why even keep holding this grudge? Uh, I mean, I think I think I think she is. I think she still is mad at him because I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily, if, if it was just kind of like, I'm completely not mad with him. I don't necessarily think that that, that she would even be having those moments with. But the then, okay, that's my question. Then you teeted a line with Snoop Dogg. You was about to almost mm-hmm. give him up some. Mm-hmm. Then you sitting here now with the doctor. So I'm just like, do you really want to leave? Like, are you really that mad at him, or are you just trying to get? All right, I just want to get this frustration. I'm like, I right, I feel like I'm eating. Are you really mad? At, like, you really want to leave him, or you just want to feel like I want to get my my one up? I'm like, we even now. You cheated, I cheated. Uh, I think probably both. I think I probably I think it could be a little bit of both. I do think she probably want to get her lick back and just be like, "All right, you cheated now, I cheated," and kind of just get that out. But it's, I don't know, dog. I I do want to see how it play. I think their storyline is probably like the last of it. Like that's just kind of like to me is the filler. The real shit is what's going on in the streets. Bryant right now got the number one storyline because I really do want to see how the rest of this season gonna play out for him. How do you respond on that? Like that's no, oh, that's. I ain't gonna get over that one. That was tough. I ain't even a parent, and that shit hit hard, though. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, I, I do really want to see how he gonna respond. You got five episodes. I want to see how they gonna handle that. So, one. do you think he? 
Because you can't even go back to the the Asian lady and be like, I need you. Shit, because the Asian lady gonna need his help now. She just lost her partner. Like, dog, how many like But you because ain't... of you though. So that's what I'm saying. I, I get feel it, like, but I... it's still, but it still don't matter. You still was on the job. You were still pursuing these people. You still wanted to know who Henry was. And Henry came to your doorstep. Mm-hmm. That's kind of odd. Yeah, so like I said, we're going to see episode five. When I, that episode, I don't know how you top episode five. We always talk about 50 Cent shows, how it's like an up and down roller coaster, but I don't know how you come back at the episode five. Episode five was this real deal.